Monday show, Ohm's Law. All engineers know Ohm's Law by heart. Ohm's Law is something that you'll end up using a whole lot through circuits. It's one of the most essential things for you to understand. It gives us a way of describing the relationship between current, voltage, and resistance. Ohm's Law states that, voltage is equal to current times resistance. In this formula, V stands for voltage, in volts, I stands for current, in amperes, and R stands for resistance, in ohms. But in order for us to make sure our answers are consistent, reference instructions are very important. So, when we have it in what's sometimes referred to as the passive configuration, or when the current arrow is pointing from the plus to the minus, then we just say V is equal to I times R. However, if the arrow is pointing from the minus to the plus, we flipped the respective reference directions. And so to keep our values consistent, we multiply by a negative 1. So, in this case, V is equal to negative I times R. Resistance is essentially the ratio of the voltage to the current. The unit of resistance, that is ohms, named after a German physicist, Georg Simon Ohm. And 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt per ampere, or 1 volt per amp. There's another way we can look at this problem. We can also look at it, as how willing is this material to let current flow through it? We call this conductance. Conductance is measured in units of Simmons. And this is named after the same Simmons as the man that started the company Simmons. We represent Simmons with a capital S, or sometimes a MHO. A MHO is basically an ohm backwards, so it will be represented by an upside down omega. One Simmons is equal to one amp per volt. When we're doing calculations, we'll represent these values with a capital G. And so, G then is going to be equal to the ratio of the current to the voltage. And again, remember that reference directions here do matter. If you remember your school algebra that you can rearrange the term in a simple formula such as Ohm's law to create other equivalent formulas. Let's say if you don't know the voltage, you calculate it by multiplying the current by the resistance. If you don't know the current, you can calculate it by dividing the voltage by the resistance. If you don't know the resistance, you can calculate it by dividing the voltage by the current. Here's an example. If you have a lamp that has 12 ohms of resistance, connected to two AA batteries for a total of 3 volts, then you can calculate the current flowing through the lamp as I equal to V divided by R, which is 3 volts divided by 12 ohm equal to 0 0.025 amp, or 250 milliamps. Or if you know the battery voltage, which is 3 volts, and the current, which is 250 milliamps, or 0 0.25 amp, you can calculate the resistance of the lamp as R, equal to V over I, or 3 volts divided by 0 0.25 amp, equal to 12 ohms. The most important thing to remember about Ohm's law is that you must always do the calculation in terms of volts, amperes and ohms. For example, if you measure the current in milliamps, which you often do in electronic circuits, you have to convert the milliamps to amperes by dividing by 1000. For example, 250 milliamps is 0 0.25 amp. That's all for today. If you like what you see here and want to see more lessons and tutorials on the subject of electronics, please subscribe or leave a comment. See you next time.